माई नेम इज राजीव श्रीधरन वेलकम टू सी एनसी लर्निंग इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न सी एनसी प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर टर्निंग सेंडर्स we are going to cover these topics preface naming of axes and coordinates motion commands linear interpolation and circular interpolation <clears throat> what you are seeing on the screen is a game join the dots game just guess the figure now the dots are being joined by lines and you are able to see a beautiful picture in cnc also the programming is done almost in a similar fashion the points are defined in terms of coordinates horizontal and vertical and how the points are to be connected whether it is by linear interpolation or circular interpolation that is how a cnc program is done how is the axis named always spindle axis will be z axis and in case of a turning center diameter axis will be x axis now let us see the coordinates for this figure the first quadrant will be x positive and z positive and second quadrant will be x positive and z negative so most of the cases the diameter axis that is x will be positive and z will be negative in most of the cases because your zero will be defined in the extreme right position so p1 is x25 z minus 7.5 so you can see in the figure the diameter for the first step is diameter 25 and length is 7.5 so the coordinate for p1 is x25 z minus 7.5 p2 is x40 z minus 15 p3 is same diameter x40 z minus 25 p4 is x60 z minus 35 third quadrant will be x negative and z negative fourth quadrant will be x negative z positive so most of the case this will be rare most of the cases it will be x positive z negative we'll see g codes and m codes g codes are preparatory functions the codes used to describe the units and the measurement system whether it is absolute or incremental and the motion commands all these things are described by g codes m codes are miscellaneous functions the machine functions that is like spindle on off spindle clockwise spindle uh, counter clockwise coolant on off all these commands will be described by m codes in this video we'll be talking about cnc turning and the reference is panoc G code and M code list are available in www.cnc-learning.com. You can download it free of charge. Now we'll see the motion commands. <coughs> G00, that is rapid traverse. So you can see a super bike. So it is combined with the speed of a super bike. G01 linear interpolation 
the speed is compared with that of a bicycle g02 circular interpolation clockwise and g03 circular interpolation counterclockwise G00 rapid traverse. This code is used for positioning. So the movement will be in air so that it has to be happening in rapid to save time. Cutting movement, linear interpolation that is G01. First tool will be positioned in rapid traverse and the linear cutting motions will happen in G01. Now we'll see how to do facing, OD turning and taper turning using G01. In the figure, the dimensions are given, P1, P2, P3 coordinates are there. G00, X27, Z0. So you can see the first diameter is diameter 25. So the cutter is positioned 2 mm diametrically above. That is safe position. Z0 because we want to do the facing on Z0 position. And facing will happen with only X axis command. So G01 X minus 1 F.25. F is the feed rate. X minus 1 is given because if you give X0 because of the tool radius, finally you will get a small pip in the center of the part. So to avoid that, to compensate that, X minus 1 is given for facing. Next is rapid positioning to Z1. X25 is the diameter to be machined. So 1 mm safe in Z is positioned. And G01, Z minus 7.5. OD turning, a straight turning is done with only Z axis command. And for doing a taper, you need to define both X and Z. G01, X40, Z minus 15. Next is a plane turning again, G01, Z minus 25. Now we'll see circular interpolation command G02 and G03. G01, X0, Z0, F.1. That is the first command to position the tool. G01 is used because the tool is going to just touch the face. Then circular interpolation. In this case, we have to do counterclockwise so g03 and the end coordinates for end of uh, the arc in this case it is diameter 60 so x60 length is 90 so z minus 90 and radius 50 so g03 x60 z minus 90 r50 We'll see one more example. G01, X0, Z0, then G03, X60, Z minus 90, R50. Next is circular interpolation clockwise. So code would be G02 and the end coordinate X is 60, Z is minus 150 and radius is same 50. So the total code is G02X60Z minus 150R50. Same example, now we will see with I and K parameters. What is I and K parameters? I and K are distance and direction from start point of the arc to center of the arc in X and Z directions. This definition is very, very important because instead of start point, if you calculate from center to start point, the direction is going to change and the center definition also will change. So it is very important to remember this definition 
you need to always see the i and k from start point of the arc to center of the arc so now the tool is positioned in x0 is at 0 then the center definition in z axis it is minus 50 start point to center the center lies in the left side that's why it is minus so the command is g03 x60 z minus 90 i0 k minus 50 in x axis direction there is no distance between start point and center of the arc that's why i is 0 so even if you wish you can omit i0 in z axis di direction it is minus 50 so k minus 50 next is in i direction that means uh, x direction it is 40 so i will be 40 and z axis direction it is 30 towards left so minus 30 so k minus 30 g02 because the direction is clockwise x60 z minus 150 i40 k minus 30 for programming test there are test templates available so you can test your programming knowledge in uh, www.cnc-learning.com it is freely available you can download and use i hope you enjoyed this video if you have liked it please press like and subscribe the channel for getting notification on new videos i will bring more videos like this Thank you for watching. Bye for now.